Hi, welcome to this training video. This is a going to teach you how to get 20 years of experience in sales into two minutes. Time is ticking. What's sales all about? In simple language, think of it as the sales scales. Right here, we have a set of scales. Now, on one side, you've got your product, your service, your idea. And in the prospect's eyes, these scales, on the other side, they've got the prospect's money. Now, your job, initially, the prospect's money weighs heavy and your product weighs light. Your idea, your service. However, your job is simply, through education, to make the scales tilt in your favour. When it's like this, the prospect starts throwing money at you. So your job is to go from here to here. Now, what happens if it's like this? The money's low on the prospect and yours is high. It's heavier, it's stronger, it's more valuable. If you ask for the sale, guess what they're going to say? No. What about if you get to here where there's parity and you ask for the sale? Now, if you're good, they might say yes. And if you're not, they'll say no. But what happens when you get to here? That's when they start throwing money at you and they want your product. This is what we call the sales scales. And that is under two minutes. How to become 20 years of sales experience in two minutes. The sales scales. Thanks. Bye. Hi, welcome to this training about your secret weapon. We all know in networking, when you communicate to someone, it's the way you think that is important. And we have information and training all about how to think more effectively. Today, what is the tool that you use with your prospective buyer, your prospective customer? It's your voice. So how do you speak to the prospective buyer? buyer. We call them prospects in the industry. I'm going to give you some secrets that I learned and discovered when I was at university. Now I'm going to keep some big words, but I'm going to explain them for you so you understand. Welcome to your secret weapon, your voice. Okay, so let's get going. What are the words you say when you speak to a prospect? Do you think about it? What words do you use? Most of us don't. We just use the words that we have always used. We, the person, your teacher, your prospects, your customers, your husband, your wife, we use these words. But for the average person, they get confused when we use technical words. So today we're going to introduce a concept called baseline. Use it as your mantra and your sales will go through the roof because there is no ambiguity. It's simple. And I'm going to give you an example about baseline language. Now, how many of you have driven a car? What do you call a car in your language? Do you call it bil, auto, machina, car? You understand it. Now, if there is a seven-year-old boy, just imagine you were a seven-year-old and you had this little box and there were wheels underneath it. And you're moving it around like this, going broom, broom, broom. We call that a car. That's the baseline language. Some people might call it infrastructure. Some people might call it a V-twin turbo. It doesn't make sense, does it? So let me explain to you a little bit about the hyponymy of language, or commonly called baseline language. Let's get into it. Car, baseline. Doesn't matter what language I use, car is baseline. We have a structure that goes up, it becomes more abstract. And we have a structure in the language that goes down, it becomes more technical. So what's an example of a, a more up the word? We use the word vehicle. 
I'm just going to give letters because we've got different languages. So I'll just use letters. V for vehicle. What about if we go further up the hierarchy? We could use communications. We could use infrastructure. Now, someone might be an abstract thinker in a professorship talking about politics and they might be talking about infrastructure, but they're actually talking about a car. What if someone's down the hierarchy, more detailed? We could talk about the type of car. Let's use V for Volvo. And we could go down a little bit further and we could have the type of V, a V70. It means Vang Shutti, which is a wagon, so I 70. And then down here, we could also have the type of engine. It could be a V8 twin turbo red Volvo right down here. But then someone might just not understand you. So one, abstract. Two, technical. But three, the most important, is baseline. Baseline language. Every word just about has a hierarchy up and down the ladder. What hierarchies do you use? Do you use MLM? Do you use cryptocurrency? Do you use entrepreneurial training? Do you use thinking skills and business opportunity? What words are baseline? The more you think about the words, the more you understand the words, the more effective you become with your prospect. So I'm not gonna leave you with just that. I'm gonna give you an example. Okay. Let's give you an example in network marketing. What's a baseline word for network marketing? Is it network marketing? Is it MLM? Is it entrepreneurial business? Is it a cash flow method? What is it? What do you think people understand? Now, I'm not here to give you a right or a wrong. I'm here to give you the ideas of how to use something. What if we were talking about really high-end language such as decentralization? Or what if we were talking about another thing called disruptive technology? That's the one I want to talk to about today. What is disruptive and what is baseline? What is decentralized and what is baseline? How about I give you an example? YT. What does that mean? It means the example in this case is YouTube. Everybody's heard of YouTube. So if you want to talk about decentralization and you want to talk about disruptive technology, you don't need to even use those words. You can talk about YouTube. So when someone asks you, is that an MLM business? They already know what it is. But if you were going to say it's a multi-level marketing business, it's a network marketing business, it's an online affiliation marketing business. But if you were to say something like, have you ever heard of YouTube? Yeah, they say, yeah, yeah. Well, what we're doing with Leo is very much like the same thing YouTube did. You connect baseline with associative marketing. I know, associative marketing, big word. But the idea is that, and then you can turn around and say, YouTube did something that no other media has ever done. This is what YouTube did. They were in a disruptive technology. In other words, a new technology that displaced the old guard. And the old guard was the media, your TV stations, your radio stations, your newspapers. And they allowed people to post their own videos. That was disruptive and decentralized. And people say, yeah, okay, I understand that. That's what YouTube did. How's that got to do with Leo? Well, that's what we do, except we do it with the way you think and money. Oh, okay, the way we think, baseline, money, baseline. That's an example on how you can use baseline language, associative marketing, in your business, anywhere in the world. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time.